Friends and viewers, welcome to another of One Mind Beer Reviews. My name is Zeb. My name is Daniel. And this evening we're reviewing from Great Basin Brewing Company in Reno, Nevada, their Tectonic Event, which is a double IPA with an ABV of 8.9%. So it is. He uh, visited... Yeah, I was recently... Some places? At their brewery. Um, nice place, good food, nice people, and stuff like that. So it's a, a Imperial India Pale. So I I P A I I I I, I. Deepa I I I I I. Some yeah. yeast in the neck. A Deepa. What's that? There's yeast, yeast in, the in the neck of the bottle. So I'm trying to. That's weird. So uh, yeah, yeah, if you're in um, Reno, check them out. Uh, it says it's Nevada's oldest brewery. It could be. I don't know. That's what they say. Why would they say it? If it wasn't true. Why would they? Sorry, I didn't pour you as much as I was trying to not get you. Give you oh, the yeast in the bottom here. No, that's all right. Stupid old father. All right, right well, here. it's a great color. Yeah, clear. Crystal clear, because I didn't pour either of us the bottom of the glass. <laughs> Almost a non-existent head, though. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, what what color is this? I just said. I'm going to go with a light straw. Yeah. If it did have a head, I think it would quickly dissipate, because these bubbles are very rapid. Yeah. So, I don't have a head, he's got like a half a finger white head. <sighs> smells dank. Dank? It's, that's a funny word. Yeah. I smell hops. But right, but it's like real deep, like, dank, like earthy. Like a heavy smell. Yeah. Not even earthy, just like really like concentrated. Dank is like... Dank. I don't know, dank in reference to it, like a house is like musty, but... Yeah. So I hope you're not being... Well, no. maybe it's musty. No, it's like, uh, um, I mean, when people talk about drugs and they say it's dank, it's a really good smell. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I wouldn't know anything about <laughs> like that. Me neither, I just hear it in movies. Oh. Obviously. It's not, you know, I gotta say, it's not really a, like a pleasant smell. It's not it like smells kind of like tat pee. Yeah. It smells very hoppy. Huh. Which so, it, it should, should be, be, I guess, if it's yeah. a double IPA. Schwanta. Schwanta. Well, that's a double IPA. Yeah, it's very, um, very happy. It's like tongue bucklingly bitter. <laughs> Woo! I'm not a great cook. It's all, it almost is like numbing, like kind of Nova yeah. feeling. But there is no other flavor other than hops. I don't get any grain. No. I just get like a barrage of like <laughs> hops. Indeed. It's almost like an earthquake. Of hops in my mouth. It's a tectonic event. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's a good tectonic one. plate shifting cause good one. Good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. It'll shift your palate. Good one. Um, yeah, the forces grinding against each other like that. Yeah, uh, it is hoppy. It's all spectrums of hoppy though. It's really bitter, but then I get floral and I get some citrus and I get. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Some pine. Maybe that's what they mean. It's just all these yeah. flavors grinding to get, you know, like a, like a tectonic plate. And, and, uh, it, well, tectonic event tips the Richter scale with a tremor followed by an earth-shaking jolt. West Coast style IPA featuring seismically bold flavors with momentum and magnitude. Delightfully clean malt profile. So clean as in non-existent. Mm. Give way to powerful quakes of Columbus, Chinook, Citrus, Centennial, and Amarillo hops. Rocking your palate to its core, so it's a it does rock the palate. Yeah, it's there's a lot of hoppiness going on. As here. far as the the grains, it does say clean, which usually means like clear flavors. <laughs> so I don't think that I don't get a, I don't get any grain flavor. No. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's made out of grain, but yeah, like waves and waves of hops. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty well concealed with hops. It doesn't. Tastes like nine percent alcohol, though. No, no, it goes down pretty smooth. Yeah, it's actually. I'm actually like warm, you know, like, yeah. like I'm drinking a hot chocolate. It's, it's kind of a warming sensation. Yeah, it's um. Huh. Well, super bitter IPAs are my bag. I think this is well crafted, and because it's so hoppy, it does that kind of that Pliny the Elder thing where it doesn't need a malt backbone. It's just like here it is. Here's yeah. the hops. Yeah, it's good. It's, it works. Very good. 
Yeah. If, if you're an IPA fan, it, if you're an IPA fan, it's, it's a love this. good one. Yeah. I mean, double IPAs, it's, it's similar. It's akin to the big ones, the mm-hmm. Penny Topper. And, yeah. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's that. I don't even know if it's on the same, uh, you know, parallel. Okay. Kind of, it's good. Kind of different. It's a different flavor profile. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But it's still bit. good. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. This yeah. is a lot more bitter than, um, Penny Topper is the bell's too hard. It is a little mm-hmm. more sweet and citrusy. So yeah, so it's very it is it is good. It's interesting. It's yeah. got you say it, like good levels. Flavor. You know, they have, maybe that's a representation of the levels of flavor. That, that well, I mean, that's what the Earth's layers look like. Well, yeah, there's that too. <laughs> I took a, ge- what I took a geology year. class once, so I'm trying to make like an analogy of some sort, which I guess wasn't really necessary. <laughs> um, so the taste is basically just hops all the way through. Mm. However, it isn't one style of hops. They've clearly they've used hops that have different flavor profiles. So, yeah, which is neat. Yeah, it's, and, like Zeb said, it's well done. You, know? you get that really bitter, like um, I don't know which hop specifically would be more of bitter end of this, but then you get like that nice citrusy mm-hmm. which from the citra hop, and they did a good job with the yeah, one nice aftertaste, everything. Yeah, because uh, sometimes, you know, it's not just a matter of throwing a bunch of hops in there and going, this is great, right. because sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah. But this works. Yeah, it does work. Um, mouthfeel, kind of slick, maybe? A little bit like hot oil slick, not like boozy slick? Yeah, not not too bad, though. It's, you know, like oily, kind of. But, yeah. But not really. It's it's a good mouthfeel. I mean, I yeah, I don't think it's unpleasant. Excuse me. Um, so... Drinkability, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Nine percent, and it goes down like a four percent beer. So I mean, the, it's dangerous, but it's drinkable. Yeah, uh, I like it. I think it's very good. As do I. Do you have a rating? Yeah, I'm just giving it a five. Giving it a five? Yeah, yeah. me too. Um, the aroma isn't my favorite, but you know that's really the only thing I considered nothing. docking points on was the lack of grain backbone, but mm-hmm. it doesn't. I don't think it needs it. No. If this beer was older and the hops had fallen off, it would just taste like mud, though. Because mm-hmm. there's nothing, there's nothing there to support it. So. Okay. But yeah. I think, as I say, that's a really good event. Uh, this is part of their expedition series, which we're still not sure what that is. But yeah. uh, is that their big bottles? It's clearly I, special releases of some sort. I uh, could have asked for yeah, it there, but I, I could have looked it up because I was probably wasted. <laughs> <laughs> By the time I try everything, but uh, it's, good. Anyway, it's a good beer. Uh, all right, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them below or send us an email. Please yeah. subscribe if you like what we're doing. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.